Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And tonight we do have a new Atari game. We have an exclusive world premiere of Zoltrix Ooh. from Eduardo Villarino. Nice. Uh, who also did uh, Escape from the Castle, which we did a world exclusive premiere of that. Awesome. Remember, you were walking along, Escape from the Castle. Escape yep. from the Castle. Yep. I don't think we actually finished that game yet. I don't we? think we did. We'll have to revisit it. No, that. we will have to revisit it. Uh, we're also going to be playing Secret Collect, which is a Homestar Runner port of a kind of fake game. Yep. We'll take a look at that. Nice. Uh, we're also going to be playing Leola, a brand new game, and also Atomic Disco from 2015 from Jared Gray West, which I somehow overlooked. It looks awesome. Cool. I hope it plays as well as it looks. Mm -hmm. Is that our cat? Yeah. Crazy cat. He's crying upstairs. Yes. <laughs> I love my shirt too. It's a little faded, but it kind of works. It kind of looks vintage. It does look vintage. I'll have to get a new <laughs> Commodore. Well worn. I'll have to get a new Commodore 64 shirt. I just love the simplicity of it. I love just the color scheme and yep. like the cyan on the blue background. Yep. It's just perfect. Exactly so, how it yep. is on, on the, the screen. screen. Yep. Yep. I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. Actually, I want to thank, before we get into that, 48k RAM who raided just before the show started. So oh, welcome. nice. Thank you. Welcome to all of 48k RAM uh, their viewers. Followers and yeah, viewers. Followers yeah. and viewers. Thank so you thanks so for bringing much. them over, 48k Ram. Very awesome. I want to thank the Twitch subscribers as well, scrolling Ooh. beside Tanya. Al the Farm, Archimage, Armscar Coder, Atari 800, 800 XL Rules, Atari 1974, Atari HBR Poker, Buck Owens, Burl Live, Captain Man 2D, Carl's Madruga, Charles and Check, Charles Wheeling, Kogan 81, Colonel Lama, Cubanismo, Dianoid, Danny PC, Daryl 970, Drexel, Dark Moo Cows, Great Defender, Grand Trooper, Roger Rapper, Johnny Nitro, Johnny WC, Computer, JRM, Carl G, Ken Jennings, the Invader, Kev Kelly, Lauren TDZ, Marco Yanis, Mark Spacing, Make Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Littell, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zonor, Miss Fix, Money Funster, Nathan Strong, Packer, VG Cog, Ariane Schwartz, RC70, Render Goes, Repentless, VG Guard, Castler, Six Sweets, Smitty B, Spice, Where S. Ramirez, The D Train, The Welshman, T Key Dan KT events, Trek MD X connects four breaths. Almost in three. <laughs> Almost in three. I'll try next Very time nice. to get it down. If you want to support the show as well, just click on subscribe. It's free if you have Amazon Prime and not free if you don't. Yeah. I do have a poll question tonight uh, for people who do collect uh, Atari 2600 games. Thank you for following Commodore Chronicles. Commodores are awesome. Yes. That's what I grew up with. Same here. Um, and that's why we're here. Right it's our love of Commodore 64. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for subscribing, Atari 1974. Nice. Nice. Four awesome. months. Very, very awesome. Mm -hmm. um, so if you do collect Atari 2600 games, which we are playing tonight, here's a question for you. If you collect the old ones, it isn't about homebrew, but kittens, come down. I have to get that cat. He's been crying nonstop. Yeah. I don't know what's wrong with him. So how do you sort your Atari 2600 games? Because we've been playing through, as people know, if they watch the show, we've been playing through absolutely every single classic Atari 2600 game in release date um, recently. So I've been looking at the storage. We're up to uh, 1982 part two. And we're doing part three tomorrow. Uh, in anticipation of Atari's 45th, Atari 2600's 45th anniversary, uh, which is September 11th. So, how do you sort your Atari 2600 games? A mess on a shelf, just uh, just a stacks of games in random order. By color, because they have some very colorful, you can write, it doesn't have to be all like blues together, it can be a rainbow effect like a lot of people do. Uh, alphabetical order, mm -hmm, maybe. Uh, by company, you know, you put all your Activisions together, all your Magics together. Uh, year of release, which seems insane. I don't know how you'd find things. You'd have to have very good memory. Um, also, uh, or, was he in the bedroom? He was locked in the bedroom. Oh, you silly cat. I was like, where is he? I thought he escaped. Or, I thought he got out on the balcony for a second. Number, Sorry. What number is it? Six? One second. Or by number six, favorite to least favorite, which doesn't make any sense at all, but I throw, thought I'd throw that in. <laughs> um, so I actually sort them by just by company, um, because I don't have as m that many that if they're by company, I can't find them. So mine is by four, and I keep them in boxes, like the loose carts, I keep, keep them in boxes under the bed. Um, not boxes, big 
plastic bins, yeah. massive plastic bins. Uh, Metal Lunar says, sort of by company, technically from childhood, because I wanted the ones to look that look the same together. Cat raid. <laughs> what was a cat raid? Two yeah. of them came in at once. Yeah. Uh, nostalgic. My boxed games are in alphabetical order, but my loose games are not that organized at all. Mm. Um, 48k RAM. Let's see. I've Pac-Man, so I tend to sort Pac-Man, put it on the and shelf yeah. next to Pac-Man. <laughs> yeah, Where but almost put... like by category, almost. The Pac-Mans yeah. are here. All the Pac-Mans but... are together. Yeah. Uh, how do you sort your combat cartridges? Uh, <laughs> yeah, six sort of looks like ending up as one. Yeah, favorite to least favorite as me mess on a shelf. Yeah, mess on a shelf. Much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Coffee Cup Car Kate says, we don't display our retro games at all. We use plastic bins, same as me. Yeah. And have a storage system in the garage for all of it. We grab what we want to play when we need it. Mm. Smart. Yeah. I have homebrews displayed mm -hmm. on the shelves, but I have my cartridges away. I like RC70 is assembling a coffee table with a fold-out tray and compartments. So uh -huh. you can just have it all there and pull it out when you <laughs> want it. In That's and nice. Off. How do you store your loose Turbo Graphics cards? I only have a couple of loose ones. Most of them are in the CD case, so I don't. Yeah. I think I have like one that's loose. One, one loose or one? two. I, I like having them in the CD case. In the cases. Yeah, yeah, I don't have any like long boxes or anything for yeah. them. But, uh, but yeah, when, when they're small the like case. that, I can see people having just plastic organizers and stuff. Yeah, there. plastic yeah. organizers. That's how I organize my Game Boy. Mm -hmm. um, but I put those in order. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I separate like North America from uh, Japanese releases. Uh, but those are in alphabetical order. Mm -hmm. uh, my turbo graphics are just a mess. They're just not in any order at all because I don't have that many. Uh, oh, thanks for stopping by 48K yeah. Ram. No bad kitties. He's in a mood. He is He's in, a, in mood. a mood. He's like, you locked me in jail. <laughs> I was locked in the bedroom. So we're going to get into the news. Just have one news item. Uh, the Atari 8. Oh, how come it's not up? Oh, it's not concentrating on the right monitor. Let's make it do that. There we go. Transition. Uh, the Atari Age Forum upgrade is happening in a week. So he's doing a ma uh, Al's doing a massive upgrade to the forums. So it's going to be down next Tuesday. Mm. So be prepared. Post everything that you need to post. Yeah, either on Monday or Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I do post on Monday for two day Tuesday's show. I post mm. every day, but. Mm. Um, um, so get your stuff in. Atari Age Forum is getting a major update. will also be moved to a new home. Mm. So it'll be at forums.atariage.com. So a new site even. Yeah. Wow. I, that's probably makes it easier so you can run both at the same time. True. And have the old one running and test the new one so it doesn't just replace it. That makes because sense. if it goes bad, you just go, yeah, just, just go to go the back. old one. Yeah. We're testing it out. Yeah. I'm enough. sure he actually has the new one up already. Sure, I'm sure. Yeah. But it's just not, domain's not pointed yeah. yet. Um, so you can read all about that. It's a lengthy, uh, lengthy post. Um, he's going to be adding in some features that he's wanted to, and this is kind of an anticipation of the new store, um, which adds a lot of features as well, including oh, nice. ROM purchases, which people have been asking for for a very long time. So oh, it'll set nice. itself up for that. For ROM purchases. I don't know really when nice. ROM purchases are happening, but we will see. Mm. Um, so that's it. So let's get to the first game, mm -hmm. which is an exclusive world premiere. There we go. Exclusive Sorry. world premiere. It's okay. <laughs> I had to meet her. Um, what, what did Coffee Cup Arcade do? Picked up two sealed copies of Star Raider the past week. Don't know why, but they had a gorgeous large box. So they said, what the hell? Yep. Sometimes the box is enough. Mm -hmm. Atari 8-bit versions. Uh, nice. Very nice. Um, so Zoltrix uh, by Vila Games slash Eduardo uh, Villarino. Uh, first posted in the Atari Age forums on June 24th. This build is from uh, July 27th. A couple days old. 32K game. Um, he also made Escape from the Castle. So this is his second game. Nice. Um, this is his message about the game. It's inspired by one of the greatest games of all time, Tetris, but it's just an inspiration. It was a big challenge to develop it, and I was very happy with the final result. I started developing it a long time ago, but the project was paused indefinitely because I couldn't find a solution for a specific part to complete the game. Mm. Well, while I was developing World Fighters, I accidentally got the solution and decided uh, to restart the project. Now World 
Fighters is paused indefinitely. <laughs> I know that there are some Tetris-inspired homebrews out there. So, you know, a handful, yeah. about a half a dozen Tetris games on the 2600. Um, but I decided to produce mine anyway and sell it. Mm. Um, so you can order pre-order this right now um, at the Vila Games website. Uh, VilaGames.com.br stands for Brazil. Um, so let's just take a quick look at the website and nice. some other stuff. There it is. That's probably too small. So there it is. Zoltrix. This is a block puzzle game that will challenge you on your Atari 2600. It has some very interesting variations, not nice. just Tetris. Not just. Okay. So it's in pre-order right now. Uh, includes cartridge, pr printed user manual in Portuguese and English. Uh, collectible, collectible box in Portuguese and promotional poster as mm -hmm. well. Uh, shipping of pre-sale purchases are scheduled for September. Uh, the, so you can get the digital version as well. You get the bin file um, and the user manual PDF. Mm -hmm. And deliveries in this case are made by email within 48 hours of payment. Uh, one player game. There's some testers. Digital edition soon. Collector's edition is... Uh, on pre-order? It mm. says it's still pre-order. Um, this is a block game that will challenge you on your Atari 2600. I think I read all that out. Yeah. Um, actually, these are in the manual, so let me just show uh, the manual now. So let me take a look at all this handiwork. Hi, Analog! Hey, Analog, 1975. Mm -hmm. Here is the manual. Zoltrex Block Puzzle Game. This is the English manual. This is a block puzzle game that will challenge you on your Atari 2600. Inspired by one of the greatest games of all times, Zoltrex will guarantee a lot of fun for you and your family, the cats. Are you going to have fun, cats? Uh, face different levels and challenge. They'll have fun when the treats come out. Yeah. Different levels and challenges. Be smart and find the best strategy to get the high score. Um, so there are all the basic blocks. They're the same, and shows that you can put them in four positions, two, because that one just flips and looks the same upside down. Mm. Um, so it's just that and sideways, etc., etc. All the greatest hits of the blocks. All the greatest <laughs> hits. <laughs> game info. Uh, the game objective is to line up the blocks to form continuous horizontal lines. Mm. Whenever one or more horizontal lines are formed, these lines are eliminated, and all the remaining blocks fall down to take their place. You get points by placing blocks in the stack when you and when you clear one or more lines. The game ends if a black reaches the top... Block. Block. Yeah. Block. Small font. Yeah. Uh, reaches the top <laughs> row. As So pretty normal. Yeah. Uh, I don't think there's four-line Tetrises or three-line Tetrises. It's just one line. You get points. Okay, so you don't get extra points for the four-line. No, you just get the four times four the points. Four times. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you have the level, total points, next block. Nice. Standard. So there's different levels. First level, slow. Second level, uh, increase speed a little bit. You get more points. Third level, at, oh, sorry, at 500, second, at 2,000, you third level. You move to level. third, yeah. Speed increases and blackout mode is activated. When the first block is placed, the stack disappears. The next round takes, uh, uh, next round together with the next block info too. Mm -hmm. So you have nothing to see. You have to place your block blindly. When the next block is placed, the stack reappears and the pattern repeats until the end of the level. Wow. Fourth level, a little bit more speed. Uh, fifth level, 7,000. Max speed is enabled and you no longer know what will be the next block. Mm. So you don't get as much time to plan. So, so it's not level. traditional Tetris. It, it, there are no. definitely, as you go up the levels, it's different difficulties yes. kind of kick in. That's cool. Um, how to cool. play. Yeah, we know how to use a joystick. Um, there's only game reset. Press the fire button. Uh, online ranking. Oh, nice. Uh, send a photo of your highest score, and you can be uh, listed on their website. Mm. Tips. With each new level, the number of points obtained per piece and eliminating lines decreases, so you get less points as time goes on, mm. which is harder. very unusual. Uh, most games, you get more points as time goes on. Yeah. Kind of ramps up increase. instead of ramps down, yeah. So there is an end. Uh, reach 9,999 points at level 5 and be a winner. Mm -hmm. So you can max out this game. Avoid leaving spaces between the blocks and try to position them the way that allows elimination of multiple lines at once. And you'll see why that comes into play. Uh, and there's the back cover. Made of Tetris blocks. <gasps> Not Tetris blocks. Quadrominoes? <laughs> Is that what they're called? Four, uh, four block pieces. Because all 
The pieces in Tetris are made of four blocks. Mm. Did you know that? One, two, three, four. Yeah. One, two, three, four. All made of four that blocks. Makes sense, yeah. yeah. Um, so, time to play the game. It's tree oh. time. It's tree time. Not yeah. quite yet. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, my goodness. Those cats came bounding in. Uh, we're going <laughs> to do a large cat cam today. We're going to go right up close with them because you've been wanting them. Oh, for I a have. While. Yeah. So, Are you? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's take okay. down the cat cam. It is portable. Reasonably. Reasonably portable. All right. So. No, don't come over there. 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 Can you see him? <laughs> he hit both of them. Did you see him? He's like, I'll try this one first. Okay, yeah. okay, I get it. I get it. Here. One for you. One for you. I don't think Atari actually rang it. He did. He did. did. He? I did oh, see okay. him ring it. I, I was looking at the cam. Tetrominoes. Yes, Tetrominoes. That's the name. So this is going to be very like, close up because I have it kind of zoomed in from being up there. But you can see the bells. You can see the kitties. Go, kitties, go! <laughs> Analog says, thank you, RC RC70, yes. for feeding the kitties. They thank you a lot. Good kitty. Good kitty one. Good, Good. kitty two. Oh, like ding, 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 ding. Give me 50. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to get a close up with the yeah. cats. Attack of the giant cats. Yes. <laughs> Oh my cats, there you go. All right, Atari, you hit one now. Good kitty, okay, we're all done. Oh no! Oh, should I get some more? Close up. Okay, yeah, just oh like my goodness. I get it, I get it, I get it! <laughs> I'm getting them, I'm getting you more. Yeah, good kitty. Good kitty. <laughs> Couple more. <laughs> Good kitty. There's another one. Okay, okay, okay. Sprite, we get it. <laughs> okay. All right. Ding, ding, okay. extreme close up. Good kitties. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're so bad. They are naughty. Okay, I think we are ready to go. Okay. <laughs> Let's uh, flip it over. That that little sprite, though, he's just like, dang, 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 dang. He is demanding <laughs> since he's now uh, figured out how to do that. Yeah. Thank you, RC70. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for the kitty, uh, kitty close up. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah, You're it's nice very to see welcome. them up close because from above, they sometimes obscure what they're doing, you know, because they do. Yeah, they stand you can't in the way them. of the camera. Yeah. So go for it. Zoltrix. Nice. Look at those colors. Games. Those colors look so good. Great color. Listen to music for a bit. Pretty good. Especially since I know he's using the basics notes. Yeah. Because some of them are a little bit, a little bit wonky. A little but horribly, yeah. That's a pretty good tune. It is very good for using the basic uh, notes. Right. That's really good. Okay, go for it. You know Tetris. Button to flip, uh, down to uh, make it go faster down. Now. It's still not very fast going you down. You can't fine. slide pieces in. Oh, you can't. No, to fit. Oh, like that? Yeah. Like you can do that, but you can't like go under another piece. You oh, can't fit I a piece see. In. It won't let you do that. Go no. underneath. So you have to make rows by just going down. There you go. <laughs> like not lined up. There you go. I mean, you can try and put them in. But they won't go. They'll kind of bang up against <laughs> bang up against it. <clears throat> oh, it makes noises as it comes across. Nice. It's very Tetris. It works very well. Super Tetrisy. 
Whoa, hard mode if there's no tucking a piece under. Yes, so if you make a space, you're gonna have to dig to that space. Yeah, you can't just kind of squish Yay. away in there. Yeah, you can't. So that gives it a little bit of more uh, challenge to it. Mm -hmm. Now, what were, I think the first level was 500? Yep. If I'm not mistaken. Try, uh, I think I'll get past it pretty quick. Yeah. So how many do you get? So you got 23 for making that line? So how many do you get for, oh, okay. So 33 now, and you placed a piece. So you got five points for that one. Because it didn't say how many points you get, right? So no, it looks like five, five points, per piece. Five per piece, okay. Fair enough. And we'll see how much you get. Nostalgic says, I'm surprised at the smooth movement of the piece. I expect it would drop in block size steps. Yeah, that's one of the uh, big things about this version is it's really smooth. Mm. Like everything moves really smoothly. <gasps> no, no, no good spot there isn't a good spot. You're going to have to make a spot. Uh, uh, that's your first uh, open area, right? Mm -hmm. All the blocks move down because they're play field. There's no really... Is there a good way to do that? You... Could you do that? You could. It would be a little bit more difficult. Getting there. What you could do is when it goes to move the pieces down, since they're all monocolored, that makes it even easier. Mm -hmm. You could draw the boat both of the sides separately as um ooh no you couldn't do that how how far across is it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten damn it so you i'm trying to do it without flicker you could do that as two players which you can make go down smoothly. Mm -hmm. But do you want it to go down smoothly? Probably not. Boom. Oh no. Yeah, that's okay. And you'd have to do the left and right with a ball that flickers. No, you could use playfield at that point. So use playfield down the sides, your whole Tetris thing as players. And then you could go smooth, smooth, smooth. That would that would work, but you'd have to switch back over to how it's doing it here for when you go back to doing uh, dropping the pieces because the pieces are obviously uh, player character. Six-digit score routine with each digit having a left brick, right brick, or both. Mm, yep. Are we sure this isn't a filter or something? Filter! <laughs> what kind of filter? <laughs> super size, super eagle, or anything? There's no filters. Nope. <laughs> it's straight up Atari 2600. Right from the source. Mm-hmm. Right from a, a light sixer. Oh, you're almost at 500. Now Getting there. 500, does it do the blackout? Or no, does it go faster? No, the third level. Okay. It goes faster, I think. Oh, you could drop that into the hole. Oh, yeah, I guess I can. Okay, I'm taking over at second level. Why? Because it's a long game. <laughs> and, then we're, and we're not going to restart. That's true. That's very true. Then you can take over at level three when it gets hard. Sure. It actually does get challenging at level three. I, 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 I can believe it. Yeah. I mean, Tetris does get challenging. This is a very slow yeah. game to start. Good for beginners. So it's gotten a quite less... Um, hot here, that's for sure. Oh my goodness, yeah, it's much better today. It's a good day today. Yay, level two! Yay, yellow! Root. 
That joystick screams of quality make. What is it? Almost sounds like a mechanical keyboard. It is high, high quality. It is an awesome. It's uh, the Bratwurst joystick. Um, and it works on 7800 and any other system that uses one button um, DB9 joysticks. So 2600, Commodore 64. Uh, I don't know. There's other ones. <laughs> Atari 8-bit. Um, it's really clicky and nice, and the form factor's nice. Um, yeah, I bought two of them so we could play. And, and the two buttons work on the 7800, so you can use both buttons. Because I love arcade controls for 99% of games. I can't really think of a good game that I would use a D-pad for. Hey, it's level two. My turn. I know, you didn't notice. Hey! All right, there you go. <laughs> Your turn. It is a lovely, it is a lovely uh, yeah. joystick. It really has an arcade feel to it too when you play and um, it's nice and mechanical and clicky. Yeah, very clicky. The See, buttons are good too. It's a really, really good game. Can... Really good joystick. Really good game too, but... <laughs> Um, and for dual stick games, we use the Atladin. Yes. One. Uh oh. No, just put put it. No. Flat. Mm. No, put it flat. What are you doing? Oh, here. Yeah. Yeah. Or over there. You yeah. got the long That's one there. That's true. Got two long ones in a row. Woo! Ooh, nice. That'll be really good. Hot the second black one. black kitty. Almost spritey pants. Yeah. Let's yeah, drop it down there. And get another one I think after it was that. At a thousand. Very nice. So six thirty nine, six sixty. So, 21 points for, hey, backseat, Play, backseat <laughs> player. <laughs> backseat little tricks. Yeah, the smoothness of the dropping is really it good. It is really good. Because other Tetris games on the 2600 are like play field movement. Yeah. Like for, uh, for you know, uh, pixels at a time. Ooh, yep, yeah, okay. Put it down there. Can you play Zoltrix with your feet? I don't see a reason why I couldn't. <laughs> I mean, there's no it's button press. Easy. It's just... Yeah, because you have a lot of time oh, to Oh, I guess you, you, you do button press up. to change you it. You do, but it's easy, right? Yeah. <laughs> Who suggested that? <laughs> Old spooky, spookish Magnus, Magus. Old spookish Magus. Higher levels, maybe not, but uh, <laughs> this one so far, uh, not yeah, too bad. You can play it with your feet. <laughs> so I know that if I lose both my arms, I can still play games. Some games. <laughs> I would say all games. I guess that's reassuring. <laughs> yeah. Games with one button, maybe two buttons, but not simultaneous two buttons. Yeah. Uh, let's put it. Because you see those uh, challenges at um, gaming conventions, mm. like blindfolded playing, mm. um, pretty much blindfolded playing. <laughs> That's the big one. I think this is hilarious. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Why not? It's actually fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting very used to playing with my feet, actually. Yeah. And the fact that it clicks, you're a cool beans. Yeah. It does click. It gives you some um, feedback. Bye-bye. Wishing you the best. Well, oh, good suggestion. Yeah. Flip it around. Flip it. What? Oh, for that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's perfectly fine. You're almost at 1,000, so you'll be going up a level. Yeah. Try doing a Tetris this way. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure it's possible at a slow. Oh, a Tetris. Yeah, we haven't done an actual Tetris. Oh, yeah. No, but I mean, you don't get the extra points like a normal. Mm, I don't think you do. Yeah, we're almost there. I'd love to see someone at the World Series of Tetris do it, playing it with, with their feet. Uh, yeah, that'd be a very different competition. Next on After Dark, Enduro Patch Quest played with the feet. Because <laughs> yeah. I haven't done my Enduro one, have I? Not yet. No. Not all of them. Oh, a... you're almost there. Getting close. Yep. Oh. Two straights in a row. Yeah, that'll Perfect. probably do it. 
one. Yeah, it, ooh, it may not do yeah, it quite it will. enough. It will. It's only 13, right? Ugh, stop it. Plus five. Oh, five for the piece. Yeah, there, there you go. go. Level three, it's going to start getting black out. Oh, it's not level three yet. What was it at? Isn't it? I'm done with my feet. I thought it was a thousand. Maybe it's three thousand. I forget now. Is it? Maybe it wasn't a thousand. Maybe it, you need a lot more. Well, we're going to be dropping some. <laughs> Drop them fast and furious here. Ugh. Ugh. You're, you're good. It's all good. So, we, uh, in a couple weeks, we are going on a two-week break. Yay! Because... Vacations! We're going on vacation to... Burning Man! Yay! And we just got tickets. Yes. Literally five minutes before the show. Oh, yes. So um, and it's happening in three weeks. Usually you don't wait that long, mm -hmm. but we were very insistent. We were going to go. Um, the whole place is 70,000 people. Mm -hmm. um, but not all those tickets are for the public. Some of them are for, most of them are for art installation people and group camps and yep. stuff. Um, Hope you guys stay cool there. It will be hot. Ah. No, no, oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was on the long piece. It yeah. will be warm, but it's also very dry. Yeah. So it doesn't feel as bad. Yeah, it is hot. Yeah, you just, it's in the just desert. Figure like, out what literally. you want to do when you want to do it at so, times of the day that aren't so crazy. So. Yeah, you do it in the morning. And then you do it in the evening. Yeah. And you go back to camp in between. We're very excited. Yes, we are. I, I got, seconds ago, we guarantee, we finally got the tickets. So. <sighs> yeah. So there was like seconds. How many tickets released to the public? Do you remember? Oh, the I don't count? know. Probably ten thousand and all said and done. Mm, yeah, there's three thousand tomorrow. Oh, being been released. hot and humid in Nevada lately. Dying. Humid. Ha ha. No. Coffee cup arcade says no. we got hit by a few monsoons. Really? What? Do you tend to get really like rainy seasons in the summer? I thought it was always pretty dry, but a lot of deserts do have periods of rain. Yeah, they do. They're just not frequent, but and they're very intense usually. Yeah, like, I'm not. Always. I'm not. I'm much better with dry heat than humidity. Is there something, someone in particular, you want to see there? It's it's not no, a it's, concert. It's it's, uh, it's not a fest. It's, it's more, more like of an art, art festival. It's an so art festival. it's you go for the experience of it. There's if amazing art. People dress up. There's lots of like million activities to do. People, yeah. there's nothing to buy there. People give away free stuff. Yeah, it's gonna, all about community. We're gonna be playing Atari games there. Yes, we are. On a, on a using a projector on the side of our RV. Yeah, and and, and nothing should be branded or anything like no, that. So it's to, perfect. We'll find some homebrews that people are willing to let us play, maybe, and yeah. uh, we yeah. play them all the time. Yeah, so, so we're allowed to play. Have we been there before, James? How many times have you been there? I've been there three times. Yeah. First time I went in 2001. Yep. Very long time ago. Yep. Uh, I'll put that there. And then 2003, and then with Tanya, 2013. Yes. Yes, it's my second time. Yeah. And we're bringing friends, so it'll be fun. Yeah. Be a lot of fun. Fun with peoples. It's so nice to do things with people. Yes. <laughs> Glad we're finally able to do back that. to doing some of that stuff. Yeah. I mean, there there is music there. It's not a music festival, but there's no. music there. There's there's DJs. There's dancing like everywhere. There's music twenty four. Anything you can imagine seven. that's going on there, really. Yeah. Um, nope. I'm not gonna put it down there. No, I'm waiting for a long oh, piece. Oh no. We might wait a long time. I might. I would just put it in there because it'll clear up clear it. Yeah, we'll completely okay. Clear, clear I know it. I'll get a long piece as soon as I yeah, do Yeah, that's okay. See? Boom! Yeah! But actually, it'll still be open. Yeah. So that's fine. Yeah. Good stuff. Those joysticks look great. They oh. are made by Bratwurst. Yes. They are awesome. Fantastic. There's 7,800 joysticks. Ooh. Put it there. Don't want to put it there, but I have to put it somewhere. <laughs> They're absolutely fantastic oh, joysticks. No, you what? No, it's okay. Backseat gamer. It's Tetris. <laughs> Can I give you my opinion? <laughs> oh, I want a long piece. Uh, 
I haven't had the long piece in so long. Anytime. Oh my you're, god. You're really hurting yourself here. I know. Okay. I'm gonna clear out some pieces here. Son of a well timed ad, bay back in 30 <laughs> seconds. Oh. It's funny you can still chat while the ads are going on. Yeah. Even though you can't see anything. What's happening? It's gonna be a mess. It is a mess. Flip it around there. Yeah, just put it straight there. Well, I don't get rid of that. Yeah, and then flip that other one around. Blah. Blah. I don't like it. Not one bit. It happens. Where are That's all the straight fun. pieces? What is None. going on? There are no straight like, pieces. Literally, I haven't had one in. No straight pieces for you. Like 30 moves. Seven ads? What? Oh God, How do you have that. so many ads? Nothing to do with the ads. <laughs> yeah. They just they just come. I don't know if you get no ads if oh, you're a subscriber finally. or how that works. A subscriber would have to answer that. Yay! Oh another one. Yay! And you won't get Something. another one for another hour. You need to make it to thirty thousand. Three thousand, sorry. Oh, put it put I it in the side. Here. Well, I guess I can still use that piece. Yeah, see, so now you clear that to. out, so... Actually, that is better. Yeah. And actually put that straight down. Put it straight down. What are you doing? There? No, stra oh, it's too what late. What are you talking about? There's no Tetris bonus anyway, so... They are extinct. What's extinct? I don't know. <laughs> Something's extinct. Oh, the long pieces. Oh, yeah. Chalcedony Mao, you don't deserve a long piece. I don't. <laughs> oh, I'm no. sorry. This is definitely not the most exciting to yeah, watch. Yeah, sorry about that. Let's play some Tetris for a few hours here. I mean, it's fun to play, but oh. just not... Uh... It is fun to play. Yeah. Thank you. Commodore Chronicles is back after his seven ads. <laughs> How were the what ads? What is going on with that, eh? Oh, first. No, I didn't get a Tetris. Not a full. Almost. How were the ads? Were they pretty good? Were they targeted? Did they appeal to you? Are you going to buy what's, what they advertised? <laughs> targeted ads. Are they all video game ads? Probably not. They're probably all car ads or something. It's like you go to the movies, is like 100% car ads. Oh, yeah. Because that's the people that have money. Because cars must be so marked up. Because they advertise like crazy mm. everywhere. And, and produce some of the most expensive oh, videos. They do. I mean, yeah. So they, they must, must make a lot of money off of them. super marked up. What are you doing? I don't know. What am I doing? Why do you why do you put a double space in there? Because there's nothing under there. There's nothing underneath that. That's why I'm. But what are you doing? <laughs> uh, uh. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I'm trying to minimize messes. He's just. We we don't jive with how we play Tetris. I don't <laughs> Obviously think. not. You're like, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you putting that there? <laughs> I would put that there. You would, huh? No, well, you're not playing right now. I need a straight piece, please. You won't get them. You yeah, never mind. <laughs> no, no, no. No, 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 no. Or one of those, but the different direction. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Creating Why narrow is areas. Still that... not giving me. This is the same piece for five in a row. Oh, I'm gonna die soon. Okay, we're doing this. There you go. Oh, oh, oh far. You're gonna get one soon. Oh, no. What just happened? It went black. It did a blackout. <laughs> that was level three. It blacks out oh, on you. Oh, God. 
<laughs> That's right. Can you start at level three? No. Oh, you have to earn your way up there. I was like, everything went black. And then I'm dead. Because yeah. it blacked out It the blacked out. Board. You could have gone to the right oh, and then what put an it in there. Unf- I had stacked it up oh, too high. Oh, no. That's okay. There you go. So, very, uh, very smooth, nice version of Tetris. Uh, that one's heck of a difficulty spike. Joystick. Oh, let me go big on that. There you go. There's a blurry joystick. There's, oh, sorry. It's fixed focus. Is it? Oh, well, that doesn't help, does it? No, because when it was there autofocus, we it went wah, 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 Ooh. all day long. And, and we sit cats. at the same distance all the time. Yeah, it's true. There you go. There is Zoltrix. It is available for you if you would like it yeah. at uh, Vila Games, V-I-L-A, V-I-L-A Games dot com dot B-R. We're going to move on to Secret Collect, and there's some history to this. How many people out there know of uh, Homestar Runner? I do. Probably everybody <laughs> in this age range. Yeah, quite possibly. Uh, because, uh, oh, actually. Are you going to play the video, or will we get... Uh, one second. I don't know what you call it on, on Twitch. Probably the music. The music's the problem. Music of Homestar Runner? Yeah, I don't know. I think that would probably be fine. Yeah. Um, so this was a uh, game that was not really a game, but it is a game. Um, let me load up where this came from. One second. I don't know why I had that closed. There it is. Oh no, what? Where's the wiki? Okay. Um, (laughs) One second. I must have it in my recently closed history. There it is. Homestar Runner wiki. Because that's the one I wanted to show. Boom. 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 So Homestar Runner was and still is still around a online cartoon yeah um that started mid 90s late 90s it started as a flash um, oh yeah cartoon yeah and oh, then flash. I miss when flash. flash died yeah they moved it to youtube and now still release things on youtube maybe three times a year yeah not that very often. seldom usually yeah. for uh halloween mm. um yeah i was an avid collector uh a watcher of it and i actually have some of the dvds as well of the um uh, strong bad emails oh yeah yep. yeah so secret collect was a fake game but it's actually a real game that they actually did make uh based because they make like old retro games because they're all about retro in 80s and yeah. 90s sometimes they made some like king's quest style games oh yeah um but this one but is, they were flash games they were flash games yeah. yeah they weren't made for consoles or anything like no that. yeah uh they didn't make it for any con- con- trogdor as well and they've released board games a trogdor board game oh, okay yep. okay um i remember you got a dvd i think of all the Content. content on Star Runner way back in the day. I did. I still have them, I believe. Um, so Secret Collect, promoted with a period as Secret Collect period, is a low-quality graphic adventure game. Uh, blah, blah, blah. This game has you, the red dot, Strong Bad, <laughs> as you try to collect other squares that look nothing like Strong Bad. Use the arrow keys to move. Uh, yellow squares take you to the next level. Blue squares speed you up slightly. So this was released 2004, uh, January 12th. Uh, page title was Furtive Acquire Secret Collect featuring Strong Bad so there's the cover fake, fake yeah. cover it's strongly in the Atari 2600 realm but there's things in the game that are very un 2600 like of course yeah so it's not really 2600 but hey bad cat but it's there yeah Teen Girl Squad That I love that one um, so they did actually release it as a game so here is the game uh, that they made in Flash. Oh, funny. Um, so you have to... Collect things? Collect. The blues make you go faster. Oops, I died. I hit the green wall. Um, blues make you go faster. You do have three mans. Oh the hitbox is very large, by the way. <laughs> it's a 
a game with low quality graphics. Like purposefully, yeah. Purposefully low quality <laughs> graphics. So you have to give yourself a wide berth when, and then you go, boom. And then you go to the next level. <laughs> this is like Gen 1 2600 style it's like a, It's like a joke, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you've got the play field and you've got yourself. Secret Collect! Secret Collect! as player that is so funny oh my goodness <laughs> and oh uh, it's timing down yeah you have to do a certain amount of time oh it goes that's down by funny. five seconds each that's... oh that's your points i guess yeah yeah so there we go that's that's the game as they made it yeah this is actually their, their game 2600 game or whatever yeah. they were trying to emulate there it was actually released as uh somebody made a homebrew on the game boy for it as well for, the game for boy. secret collect oh interesting yeah vid electrics and then the company name is vid electrics that's a very great name. 70s early 80s game yeah yeah miniature golf but you're the ball uh, is a game for you to collect secrets from all over the globe, featuring Strong Bad. It has all kind of futuristic maze for you to run around in. <laughs> so it's still available for you to download as a Game Boy game. That's so funny. As well. Um, and this developer also made recently a Myst game. On what platform? The Atari 2600. Shut up. So there's you looking out a cave or something, and there's a clock in the game i don't know if you remember that i, re I remember the game vaguely i played it a lot i played mo i think i've played all of them actually yeah but i i don't remember all the storylines but yeah there's all kinds of towers uh, to go to and doors to open well i'm gonna have to try so that sorry vc has missed dmake we're gonna pop it in in a second oh are we it takes two seconds you only kind of look at the screens you don't really interact with them oh, okay uh missed there's big explanation <laughs> there's the ship Oh, I hated that game so much. I cheated. Yeah, <laughs> I it, cheated. There, it, it definitely was challenging. Mini fact, why? Because the graphics look really bad, pretty bad. It takes a lot of work to make nice graphics. <laughs> yeah, that is actually pretty good for 2600. I think that looks pretty nice. Yeah. So we're going to just quickly pop that in because I don't see a better place. I was going to put it in the news, but this is the same developer mm. that made Secret, Secret Collect. So I'm going to play that for just a second. Let's take a look at <laughs> one of Tanya's favorite games, Mist. That's probably it up. pretty high up there. Yep. Uh, right at the bottom. It's just by itself. There it is. I don't know if it has any songs or music or anything. I played Abduction, too, which was that company's latest version of a Mist game. Yeah. You like that one, too. I paid, I think it was on a Kickstarter. Look at this. Pretty good. Look at that gold. I don't know Mist that well, so there's something that's flying. You're just peering at there's something. There's a button that you have to press. This is the book. Oh, oh, the book. Yeah, so I've launched myself. Yeah, they only let you go go right. I can go left. I can go to the rocket. Dieter nope. says, oh, Dieter is the developer. It's in the chat. Oh, hey. There's actually a full version of Mist DMAC for the Apple II in 40 by 48 ah. resolution uh, on three floppies. This kind of just switches between the different screens. And it's cool, There's though. There's not really any interaction. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, can't go backwards. No. You just kind of press the button and it flips through the screens. Very nice. Yep. And people are like, do the whole thing. Yeah. How much work would that do be? Do all of it. <laughs> there's, there's a staircase to the mountain. Like, I recognize these from the game. And then the rocket ship. Yep. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Is that the tower? Yes. And this is in 4K, which is How actually nice. pretty good. Proof so, of concept. Yeah. yeah. It's a proof of concept. It's not a, it's not a game. Yeah. It's just but people have almost screens. convinced me to make a 32K version. Yeah. They're like, oh, this is pretty cool. Do it. Yeah. So much work. Because it is pretty much static screens, and you click in certain spots to do things. Even just doing a level, like just, just one part just of it, one part of it would be, be really impressive. Yep. Just um, the graphics need to be good enough that you understand what's going on. Or you just have to know Mist, the original, to be able to play this one. Well, yeah, I mean, it's just a point-and-click game. Yeah. So, yeah. Very, so very cool. If you can load up Clock Tower. Yeah, Clock yeah. Tower. So if you can load up Secret Collect, please. All right. Secret Collect. So he mostly works on Apple II games. So this is great. 
Electronics because it says Vid Electrics and uh, his company there at nice. the bottom. Nice, Vid Electrics. Secret Collect. So press a button to start and I already showed you what to do. And this one has a timer actually. Oh, yeah, it's down. So counting. Blue Gate makes you go faster. You've got three mans. And nice! Yeah, there you go. Nice! Very nice That's bonus That's a great, screen. great strong bad there. Yeah, great strong bad. Like, really excellent strong bad. Um, but this is first Atari 2600 game. The quote from his website, Yes, who would have thought it would come to this? Atari is the traditional rival of the Apple II, dating back before the Commodore 64 was a glimmer in Jack Tramiel's eye. I've had so many opportunities to be annoyed by Atari systems over the year. Uh, years. Back in the day, I did not have a 2600. A neighbor had one, but they wouldn't let me play it. Though the only game I can remember watching him play was E.T. For, however, for various reasons, it made sense to do some VCS homebrew. Oh, so fast. you to line yourself up first for that one. <gasps> oh. You have, oh, you still have three mans. Oh, this is the infinite gameplay version. Secret! Secret! I love it. Um... <laughs> uh, He's, uh, and I also said he's working on a Mist demake. Um, and we actually played the unfinished Homestar Runner RPG on the show uh, that was made in the early 2000s uh, by Paul Slocum, who also did Marble Craze. And uh, we played on July 11, 2018. It's actually a really, really promising RPG, but the developer was being paid to make it, so I'm amazed you're not dying there. No. Uh oh. Oh, no. Will you lose a man's? Oh, we'll you will. <gasps> so you don't lose a man by. You might as well go to the right hand side. Where? If you're going to be doing that. Where? We through the same portal on the right hand side that you're going through on the left hand side. But it's side. the same size. Yeah, but your goal is yeah, there. Yeah, but I don't think I can get through it. I can't. I can't even line size. up my. I can't even line up my. Uh... <laughs> this is a deadly, deadly level. It moves really quick. Maybe it would have been better not to get speed ups. No, I don't think I can. You have to go around the, the green area. Just slam. There you go. You got it. Go. 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 Oh, oh just got it. <laughs> oh, I didn't think I could get through the green part there, but you can. I mean, it would be kind of mean to have a level that you couldn't actually complete, so. <laughs> yeah. uh, Secret Collect is a low-quality graphic adventure game accessible from, uh, from the scrolling shooter games menu. Uh, oh, that's from that. Never mind. Um, current status, fully playable, but you only get eight levels. Yeah. Have you looped around? I'm pretty sure I've looped around all eight. It's also a bit glitchy in spots. I'll have to see if I can improve that. Directions, reset, fire to start. Use the joystick to move. You are strong bad, the red box. You need to collect the secret that looks nothing like you, the yellow box. Avoid the pu pulsing blue walls. He actually did a really good job in the, the blue walls to translate. Yeah, them. they do look good. I'm going to lose some, man. Some of them move sideways, which is impossible in the 2600. Or difficult, let's say, <laughs> depending how you do it, uh, which will, re will zap you and reset your position. You need to collect the secret before time runs out. A speed boost blue box will make you go faster. You can collect up to three of these at a time. Bonus points if you complete a level without touching any walls. Very nice. Collect as many secrets as you can before the duck gets you. The duck? You should just let the timer run out, actually. Yes. You kind of have to slam against it and hope that you're in the right spot. I don't think you slam against it. I think you have to get really close to it. Oh, is the duck going to get you? Oh my god. That's so funny. Ah! Oh, it's a freaking duck! Oh, the adventure <laughs> duck! Your card. Oh, oh no. I'll change it just in time. There we go. Secret collect. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. So that's that's the game. <laughs> there you go. Uh, you did an excellent translation of the yeah, game. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it's it's perfect, and he added some more stuff into it. Yeah, looks really really great. I so, love Strong Bad. The Strong Bad in between the levels. Yeah, is that looks really fantastic. Good. The duck looks great. The duck. <laughs> that's what he calls it on the on the uh, when yeah. he plays it on the show. It does look like a duck. It always it always does. looks like yeah. a duck. Giant duck. Oh. oh, the black cat is here to irritate the gray cat. Oh, oh, shaking. Oh, He's out of here. Oh, no. Hey, Derek Ray West. Okay, time to get to the next game. Oh, usually I don't do that. I'm still used to doing five minutes at a time. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Jump up. Flip it. 
Flip it. So uh, the next game is, well, thank you for dropping in, Dieter. Yes. Keep making games. Oh, awesome. Jared Gray West is here. Uh, we'll be playing oh, his game at I the end of the show. I actually have a mostly done version of Peasant's Quest for Apple II <gasps> as well. Peasant's Quest, really? Yeah, Ooh, nice. That's very nice. Maybe you can do it for the 7800. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Okay, next game we're going to be playing is Leo La by Alberto, a.k.a. Jab. Mm. Uh, post on July 31st. Uh, it's a 4K game. Uh, one second. Change cartridges before I forget again. And uh, go for it. Okay. It says, hi, this is a memory game. Oh. At the start of the game, five objects will be displayed. When you press fire, only one of the previous objects will appear in a random position. Hmm. You, using the joystick, have to move it to the correct position oh. and press fire. That's why I'm letting you play this one. <laughs> I am not good at this game. Hmm. If you are right, you go to the next screen. Or else, each area you lose a life. You have seven lives like a cat. Oh no, oh, I thought they had nine. They have nine. Sometimes they lose them early. Oh, <laughs> nine lives. <laughs> oh. Um, if you find the right position at the first attempt, go to the next level. The second attempt, you remain the same level, and more than two attempts, you go to the next, the previous level. So you, you drop you back regress. down. Oh, when you, you regress. Lose, you don't... Yeah, go ahead. When you lose the last life, uh, the game ends and the correct position will be displayed. Mm -hmm. Press fire to new, start a new game, so it is couch compliant. Mm -hmm. So there's your lives, seven. Uh, I believe this is a starting board, so memorize what you see. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Slightly used cat. Yeah, slightly used cat. So, got a ball, a Wi Fi, puzzle piece, a flag, a brick wall, and a magnifying glass. Top right. Speaker, gear, gear. I'm guessing both of them are valid if you get a gear. I've called them snowflakes. They kind of have a snowflake look to them. They're a gear. <laughs> but they might be a gear, but. Uh... Yeah, they do look snowflakey. Star, Great graphics. Basketball. Really nice big graphics. Pie chart. Flower. That was easy. Easy. Uh, Flag note. I love that they're using chart. like the old like Apple or Windows yeah. icons. Um, Super old what school icons. What would you icons. call that? A brick wall? I'm going for brick wall. I have brick wall in my head when I'm looking at that. Yeah. Pie chart. Basketball. Magnifying glass. Volume. Trash can volume music yeah nostalgic i agree very bottom left is it here might be there oh it was now you have to deal with all nine yeah they're all very old school uh clip art monochrome yes. clip art yeah that's what it is yeah very windows 3 1 i feel era. like we're looking on a palm like a palm, oh, that yes. green screen, like a palm. Oh yeah, palm and, pilot. And, and you would like tap it to match. Tap 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 tap, would, tap tap tap. On the tap. palm, it would be oh, it's on the right hand side. Do people develop games for palms? <laughs> I had a palm pilot for a I long. I know you did. Long I know. Time. And yeah. I played lots of games on it. There were some decent games. There was a very active game development. Mm. Nowadays, I've already lost sight of where it was. Oh no, not Wrong. there. Not there. No, you're losing all your cat lives. I think you go back a level. You're talking, so I'm not memorizing. Like I, 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 I almost need it to be quiet, but I don't want to. Magnifying do glass, that. trash can, gear, note, star, pie chart, Wi-Fi. Bars, bars. Signal, signal. <laughs> okay. Oh, bottom. Yep. So now there's like a courthouse or whatever that yep. is. Yep. Courthouse, Windows wall, logo. Windows. Fix, fix it, wrench. Yeah. Trash can. Uh, music. Stripey ball. Could be a Raptors basketball. No, it's just basketball. <laughs> Straight up basketball. Yeah. Pie chart. Oh, top, middle, or bottom right. Yeah. Oh, lots of flowers. Oh, lots of flowers. Um, mm hmm. Here. Flower, flower. Okay. Okay. Bottom left. <laughs> Two people doing it is a little cheatier. It is a little cheaty. 
and they have an Apple logo yes. as well. So they've got all the old school Apple things. Windows ready for your powerpoint presentations yeah yeah put in these uh, clip arts or if you're if you're doing a lo local newsletter as well you can put in some flowers for the spring flower sale that's right spring bulb sale or something um, now if it had a countdown timer i think that would be good like a countdown timer for you to memorize them and it would yep. get shorter and shorter. Yeah. Like you can put it right along the bottom there. So you couldn't just sit here. It would make it write harder. Write it down. That would be a good hard it. mode, actually. It would be. Like yeah. easy versus hard. Hard. There is actually a countdown timer. You have the little Jeopardy theme going on. <laughs> you could. Do, 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 that would be do, distracting. Do, do, do. Oh, very distracting. Yeah. Could the, um, um, what do I want to say? Uh, Atari Vox? Yeah! Have a Jeopardy song? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it can play notes. It can play I guess that's true. sounds and it can do voices. That's true. Very rarely do people use it for anything but voices. Like, super, super rare. Yeah. Like, I can't even think of a game, actually, where people use it for not voices. But it does have uh, ability to make uh, Oh, jeez, where was that? I wasn't looking. Oh, this might be game over. <gasps> just got just, it. Just okay. Note Apple Windows Signal Pi Gear Garbage Star. Okay, ready? Okay. Try, trying to figure out how this is being drawn. The sprites are big and spread out more so than six digit score. Mm. Uh, I am guessing triplicated wide because you can see one is player zero, one's player one, and then it's wide, and then player zero, player one, and they change both graphics in between. Um, that's what my guess is without looking looking it up. What do you think? Anybody else agree with me? Because that seems about right for a, a single wide. Ready? Uh, nope. Windows and Apple, the bottom left. Uh, garbage spanner. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, bottom right. Oh, Apple, Apple. Flag. I haven't seen a flag yet. Yeah, we've had it. Star flag. Apple, Apple. <sighs> okay. Start at the top left, yeah. We only have one chance left. I thought putting all the puzzly games together for one show. Yeah, no, that's awesome. It's kind of themes of people like puzzle games. Yeah. They can watch us so play simple lot, and puzzle games. There's a lot of uh, castles, whatever you want to call those. Are they called them ramparts? No, the ramparts no. are the part you run up across the top. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what you'd call them. Yeah. Yeah, they're like the, the crowns on the corner. Yeah, yeah. Right? Maybe anyway, castles. I'm castle calling. crowns. Castle crowns. <laughs> castles. I'm sure there's a name. Uh, basketball. Magnifying, magnifying glass. Magnifying glass. Trash. Crown. 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 Music. Volume. And then. Okay. Okay. Damn it. It was at the top, I think. Yeah. Dark green is plot. Crenellations. Thank you, Mike Solo. Crenellations. The crenellations right. on top of the castle. Dark green is probably player zero. Light green is player one. Against a black background mm. with a white play. Yeah, definitely a white play field. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it looks like the timing is a little bit wrong on the play field at the bottom left because he's got a, a bit of purple. Mm. Just needs to either cut that one down because they're overlapping the mm. ball. Because I'm guessing those are the balls in the bottom. I'm not sure what those are. Decoration. Uh, for, oh boy. There's no repeats on this one. Hmm. I can memorize the bottom line for you. Okay, ready? Yep. It's not the bottom line. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Two repeats. There we go. I've seen some layouts like the one you have up now with multiple instances of the same icon. I wonder if those ever turn out 
to be the item you need to place. It'd be easier to guess it if it happens. Hmm. Oh, the, the multiple ones. Like, this could be a gear or a pie chart. I, th I think it's random. It's even random what it puts up there. It probably doesn't even know that it's doing doubles. It's just like, between 1 and 10, put that up. 1 and 10, put that up. Mm -hmm. um, it's not marking them off as not allowed to put up again. Gear, pie chart. I'll give it a try. Bottom right. Um, I keep wanting to call that a spanner. <laughs> it's the British term. Yeah, um, based on that uh, other game we played that you have the patch for. Oh, yeah, Spaceman Spiff. Spaceman Spiff, because they call it a it? spanner in that. Spaceman yeah. Oh, Spiff. do they? Yeah. Well, I believe it's a British game. Mm. Um, oof, this one's not going to go well. Okay. Ready? Uh, I think so. Everything just leaves my mind. Oh, it was in the middle. Oh, no. Oh, because it's the end. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nice. You can draw with the basketballs. So call it a spanner. spanner. We did. Very cool look to this game. Ooh. Uh, good twist on the matching game. I like it. I don't think it's called Spaceman Spiff, because that's Kelvin and Hobbes. What oh, you're called? right. It is Kelvin and Hobbes. There's no way it's called Spaceman. Splorf. I mean, Spaceman Splorf. Spaceman Splorf, Planet of Doom. That's Spaceman that. Splorf. Very close, though. Spaceman yeah. Spiff, you are correct, Mike Soul. Yeah, so that's why I was thinking of that. Yeah. Okay, Spaceman so we're moving on to the last game of the night. Squish. Squish that cat. Which is Atomic Disco, which is a two-player game. Uh, made by Jared Gray West, who I saw jump yes. into the chat. Atomic Disco. I like the name. I like the name. It's a very good name. Uh, first posted March 10th, 2015. Mm. Um, and this is from 2015 as well. Size is 8K. I have the wrong build you date, do? date on there. Oh, no. That's okay. Uh, other games he's made. Atomic Disco. Atomic Disco 2. A Lost Cat. Quantum <gasps> Tunnel, Red Blue 3D game demo, Spies in the Night, Spies in the Night 2, still nice, waiting for that to come out. Nice, nice, nice. And The Horde. It says, hi, I have to read all this because it's a two player game, but you can load it up. Oh, oh you want me to? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm excited to post my first Batari Basic game. I've what? Don't play with your hands with this little cat. He's being, he's the one attacking me. Yeah, no, not allowed. Stop it. No, he's purring. Let him no. be. No. He's so cute. Uh, I've wanted to learn uh, Batari Basic for quite a while, but I've only recently sat down to give it a shot. I'm still learning, so I'm definitely open to criticism. Please let me know if you have any suggestions for making my game better. The game is called Atomic Disco, mm. and it is a two-player only game. So unless you have a friend who wants to play or are ambidextrous, you might find it difficult to test. <laughs> also, the game is intended to be cooperative experience nice. I rather like that. than a competitive I one. I like cooperative ones. Hey, Vitoko. Hey. hey, Jared Gray West. Hey, glad you're playing this one. I don't know why I missed this one. It's actually really fun. This is the first game I made when I started learning Patari Basic. Yeah. When the title screen appears, press fire button or reset lever to begin. Each player controls an atomic paddle mm. inside a nuclear accelerator. Mm. Push up and down to move your paddle up and down. Pushing left or right will have no effect. Particles will begin to fly in from the left and the right hand side of the screen. Collect the particles that are the same color as your paddle to gotcha. score points. Making contact with a particle that is a different color from your paddle will not score points and you will be repelled slightly towards the edge of the screen. Oh. Pushing the fire button will change your paddle from an atomic, atomic absorber to an atomic reflector. Sorry, what, what does that? The button. Button. So you reflect rather than absorb. When your paddle is in the form of an atomic reflector, particles of both colors will bounce off harmlessly off your paddle. Note, only one player can use atomic reflector mode at a time. Ooh. You should only use a atomic reflector mode when you really need it. When you're in rather it. Rather than holding down the button the whole time. Yeah. Your partner will also need to reflect particles too, so you cannot score points in atomic reflector mode. So atomic reflector is holding or is it flipping? It says it? holding. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, so we'll see. So it's only when you're really in you're dark, in a panic. Yeah. yeah, in big trouble, you want to start reflecting. If one paddle absorbs too many particles of the opposite color, they will be repelled off the edge of the screen and outside of the bounds of a nuclear reactor. If this happens, both paddles will explode. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Thus, it is in both players' interest to work together. If one paddle is nearing the edge of the screen, the other player can attempt to rescue it. Oh. Nice. To rescue a paddle, reflect a particle of its own color toward it. <gasps> Oh. Wow. For example, if the yellow paddle is getting too close to the right side of the screen, the blue paddle should reflect a yellow particle. If the yellow paddle absorbs the reflected particle, it will begin to flash to indicate that it's reflected. It will be pulled a short distance towards the center of the nice. screen. Nice. There is no limit to the number of reflected particles that a paddle may absorb, but the paddles cannot be pulled past the center of the nuclear accelerator. Okay. There's a bit of risk and reward element to the outside edge of the screen. The closer you are to the edge of the screen, the more points you receive mm. for absorbing particles of your paddle's color. However, being close to the edge of the screen makes it harder to dodge the incoming particles. Mm. Charging particles. The big points in the game are scored by working in concert with your partner to continuously bounce particles between your paddles. Hmm. When a reflected particle is reflected for a second time, it will begin to glow orange. For each additional bounce, the bonus multiplier increases. You will score 200 points for the first charge bounce, 400 points for the second, 600 for the fourth. Mm. On the fifth bounce, however, the particle will begin to glow red. If the particle is charged to the state, it is deadly and mm. will destroy the next paddle it touches. Move your paddles out of the way, let it go, and try again with a different particle. So that's like... A so orange, but not doom, red. Doom, doom, doom. Yep. Mm. Note, when charging particles, only the paddle of the original particle's original color may absorb it. So if you want to absorb it at any time, it has to be the original color. Uh, for example, if the particle is originally blue, but it's now char charged orange, only the blue paddle may pick it up for score. The yellow paddle would be repelled and the bonus would be lost. Work in concert with your partner to absorb the appropriately charged particles. Mm. Uh, yep. Okay. The score applies to both players. As this is a cooperative game, you and your partner work together in to increase the same point tally. You also use the same pool of three lives. Okay. When one player explodes, the other player will explode as well. Help <laughs> each other to make sure this doesn't happen. Game starts at level one. Uh, at 5,000 increases speed. 10,000, 20,000, 60,000 okay. increases speed. Okay. There's pff, lots to this. Every so often you'll enter a phase when moving laser walls will try to blast you into dust. Oh my goodness. When you hear the alarm and the lasers appear on the left or right side of the screen, position your paddle so it will fit through the gap in the laser wall. Gotcha. If either paddle is hit by the laser wall, both paddles will be destroyed. You will receive 50 points for each laser wall that is successfully dodged by both paddles. The frequency and length of the laser wall phase is determined by your score and the game level. When the laser wall phase ends, you will return to the phase with the moving particles. I think that's everything. Let me know what you think. Thanks. Glad I read that because that was a lot. Mm -hmm. There was a lot going on in this game. I can't believe I missed it. it sounds like blast. Okay, let's do it. I am blue. You are yellow. Yeah. So I'm trying to get the blue. Missing it is no problem. Just don't hit the ones that aren't your color. So we'll practice this for a bit. And then we'll do the bouncies. Because we're not very far apart. That's the problem with the bounces. I think we're going to be in trouble. Okay, get to the top. Oh. <laughs> I missed that. That's okay. Laser wall. Cute. Very cute. I like the noises. Oh, ah! It's too hard. Too hard to do that one. Nope. Oh. Let's get some. Kind of want to bounce one just to see. We're too close together. One of us has to like. Get... Oh, that's Whoa. the bounce. That's the bounce. Oh, okay. That's what you look like when you're bouncing. Boing. Okay, cool. You get points for bouncing one? No, you have to bounce it off. Get down. Oh. Fair, get up! Ah! Get down! <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> wow. I hope it never goes in the middle because I don't know how you're supposed to position in that short a time. I'm guessing it's always top or bottom. Ah, missed it. So 
So should we hit the wrong one and get apart and bounce? You want to do that? Hit the wrong one? Yeah. So... No, oh, no, I don't know it. how... It has to be coming from a certain... You just have to get a blue one. I have to get a blue one? So Your we're blue? further apart. You have to get a blue one. Okay. So that you move away from me. Oh. So that we can bounce a thing off of each other. Otherwise, it's... We're gonna die. So you get that blue one. I'll get a couple more. There. I'm, I'm pretty good. So if you move away... Oh, I meant to... Meant to get a blue one. There. You get a blue one. There we go. Are you good with that? Sure, maybe one more. There we go. Okay, so you bounce that one. You bounce that one. <laughs> okay, bounce that ready? One. Oh, I, I know because you can't hold it. Only oh, one person can have it wow. at once. So you have to press it. You have to press it ready? very quickly. Ah! Sorry. Okay, oh. you bounce it first then. It has to come towards me. Ah! Dangerous. Ah. Sorry. Ah! Okay, ready? Okay, out of the way! It's oh, red. it's red! Oh my gosh! I didn't think it had gotten <laughs> that red yet. Interesting, interesting game. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, you want to go part again? Sure. Okay. okay you move one more. Oh, you're good? You want to yeah. do it now? Oh, I got it. Because you were holding it. I was no, trying to push I the go. button. I let go. No, you did not, because I was holding the button. Okay, you bounced then first. Ah! <sighs> I think not we're dead. Quite. Okay, oh, try game again. Over. Oops. Okay, let's move back. Okay, I'm good. I guess I got it. Uh, yeah, and it's still fine that you got it. If it was the right color. Remember what it was? Yeah, it was mine. Okay. I can bounce one of yours. Next. <laughs> the next one that comes... Oh, oh. The next blue one that comes my way here. Okay. Was it red yet? I don't know. Uh, yeah. It was dark orange. It was dark orange. But what's the, what's the value of... It goes Shouldn't up... you absorb it then? Uh, no. You the orange? Don't get, you don't get any bonus points for... Which one is this? Red! Ah. Oh! Good night, Atari night, 1974! Get some. Okay. Good. There. Oops. What do you want to do? Yours? Sure. Ah! Oh. Get one of yours. Ah! Okay. Boop. Oh! Whoa! That was very dodgy. I go to the center. When you're on the edges, it's scary. It's just enough time for you to realize what it is and move. Just enough time. Oh. And do some bouncing. Sure. This is yours. I th oh. oh, you held it. Yeah, too long, I guess. Absorbed it. There's no point in continually bouncing it. Is there? Grab it. There. 
No, you want to get it on the last one before it turns red. Yeah, that's what I kind of figured. Whoa! Oh, boy. Oh, now it's faster. Oh, my God. Now we have to fight for our lives. Oh, gosh! Yeah. Oh god. I am oh, I'm dying. So on the edge. How do we get back towards You need the to bounce a yellow one to me. Okay. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, sorry. <gasps> no. You can bounce what? Here's, a white one to you. There's one. Get Thank it. Thank you. Oh, oh my god, I keep missing them. Here's one. Oh, that's not for you. <laughs> ah! I need one. Don't get that one. Ah, uh, here comes one for you. I need one too, please. Thank you. Ah! Bounce a blue one. Ah! Oh, now they come from both sides. They were before. Were they? Yeah. Oh. Please bounce a blue one. There. Ah! Oh, now that one. There. Oh. Oh, don't get that one. That's no, sorry. I need one. Okay. Here comes one. Thank you. Here comes another one. Oh no! There, that's for you. <laughs> Don't get that. Get this one. Oh ah! no! Get this one. Thank you. Get this one. Get this one. That's for you. Oof. Sorry. There. Thank you. Here's one for you. Another one. Oh. Another one. Ah. Another one. There's one for you. Oh no. Ah. Another one. One for you. Ah. There for you. Thank you. A couple more would be nice. Oh, oh missed it. Sorry. Here. There. Oh. Oh, here. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's so Chaos! fast. Ah. Yeah, it's a great game. <laughs> it's crazy. Good job, Jer Jerry Gray West. Here's one for you. Thank you. Ah. For you. Thank you. More, please. Ow. There for you. Ah. Oh, it's okay. There for you. Here for you. Oh no! Oh, here, here. Thank you. Here. Oh, sorry. Oh. Here. For you. Oh no! It got me! <laughs> here. I need some. Badly. I know, I know, I'll find one to bounce to you. Okay. There. Thank you. Ah! There. We're more in survival mode now than here I than can't. anything else. There. Here. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Here. Ah! If you both do it at ah. the same time, you end up screwed. There. You do. Oh, no. <gasps> oh. There you go. Ah! Ow! Ow! I'm Ow. almost dead. Quick. I need one from your side. There. Oh, I need some badly, 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 <gasps> oh, badly. There. Thank you. Oh, oh no. Uh, Jared Gray <laughs> West says, it's cool that you guys figured out how to play. I totally forgotten this works, <laughs> how this works. Is it worth doing the bounce back and forth of points not enough? If you're going for points, yeah, they're worth quite a bit. Are I they? think it goes up to 800 points. Oh, and it bounces, but you forth. just have to dodge the red one at the end. Yes. Yeah. Okay, ready to go again? Let's oh. just, let's try and, let's try and... Was it continuing to play? It was doing something. Oh, because our score kept going up. Did we have oh, a life? Oh, maybe we did. You might have reset it. Oh well, that's okay. 
Oops. So being back a little bit is good. Like just yeah. a little bit. I learned that you don't, they go pretty slow, so you don't really need to be that far back. Oh, that's enough. Actually, I'm too far back now. Oh, yeah. No. This would be so good with paddle controls. It would be pretty good with paddle controls, I think. Yes, it would be really good. I don't know if there's enough time to do all the paddle information. That would be good. Jared, you could do an update to this game <laughs> and uh, make it paddly. It's a lot going on. I don't know if there's enough time in the kernel. You want to balance something? Sure. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. Too far down. No, that was my fault. I'll do it for me. Oh. Sorry. Oh, I absorbed it. I didn't it. let go. I didn't no. let go. You do kind of have to be further apart to make that work. Oh. I'm sorry. You have to kind Here. of announce it. Okay. Okay. Take it. There. It's oh. red. Dodge it. You you should take it. Do you that. have to get it or to get points? No, or no, you just you get the points automatically okay. when you bounce it. But three times. One, two, three, and then get it. Because yeah. if you hit it a fourth time then it turns red, it seems. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, you have to announce it. I, I shouldn't just be throwing things at you. Ah, oh, almost didn't go down far enough. Gotta hold it all the way. You want to bounce one? Sure. Okay, here's one for you. Um, get it. Don't get it. Oh, I meant you get I it. I can't because it was yellow. Mm. Ah. back a little bit. That's oh. probably good for me. I like the, the tones. They each have their own tones. Yeah, so you know who had who got one. Yeah. Very good use of sound. I love that it can come from both directions as oh, well. Oh, yeah, I think that's great, yeah. Do some bouncing. Do you want to start it? Sure, here. Oh, oh. damn it. Here. Oh, that was too close together, two of them. Yeah, we are too close. Oh, now they're fast. We have to move further back. Now it's... I think it's too hard to do that. Is it? At this speed. Thank you for following somebody. EW Crash! Thank you for reading it. Ew Crash! Ew Crash! Ew Crash! <laughs> At least that's what I can read. <laughs> <laughs> Glancing very quickly. Ah! We can try a bounce. Do you want to do a blue one or a yellow one? Um, I will do blue. <laughs> Here, yellow. Oh. No, you have to announce a way beforehand there. now. Way <laughs> beforehand. So I know when to expect it. What do you want to do, a blue or a yellow? I think I'm going to have to bounce one to you soon. I don't... Oh, I do. I need one. There. Thank you. It's almost better just to do ah! that. Okay, I need some blue. Bounce me a blue, please. Ah, <laughs> I'm too far, too far to the left for comfortability. Bounce Here. me. Thank you. Another one, please. Thank you. I um, think I'm good for now. We'll see how it goes. Ah! Another one, please. Ah! More! More, please. Ah! 
bounce out. Oh no! Oh no! I, oh no! I absorbed it. Oh no! I hit another one. Here. Ah. Okay, that one. There. Ah, another one. Oh, I need one now. Okay, I'll bounce one. Here's one for you. Ah, uh, thank you. Another one for you. Now you're far back. Oh no! Yeah, I need. I need at least two. Hi, cat. Here. Oh. Here. Thank you. Here's one for you. Thank you. Another one for you. Oh, another there. one for oh. you. Ah! Here. Thank you. More, please. Many more. Here. More. Ah! Ah! Quick! Ah! Oh, no! I think you have guys played Quantum Tunnel. We have. Oh, we're still playing. We have. That's a that's a great game. That gets crazy. It's very similar kind of feel to this one. With with the movements and the colored blocks. Really like Quantum Tunnel a lot. Ugh. Sometimes yeah. they get you from behind. It's awful. Yep. Yeah, you really need to be far up on the higher levels. I don't even know if bouncing is a good idea early on because you push yourself There's back no point, to bounce. There's no point, really, yeah. And then you're just being oh. bombarded from the back. Oh my god. It's so hard okay, when they here. start. Ah! Thank you. Here. Oh. Here. Here. Oh. Oh gosh. Here. I find I jump past them here. a lot. Thank you. Here. Oh. Ow. Here. Oh. Thank you. Okay, please send some my way. Not that one. <laughs> Not that. You absorbed the wrong one. Here. Uh oh. Uh -oh. It announces itself before it comes on the Which screen. Which is good. Very awesome. Please. There. Oh, sorry. There. Thank you. Ah! Oh. Here. Thank you. Oh, no! Oh, no. I need one badly. Okay. I'll do my best. Ah, I'm dying! There you go. Thank you. So am I. Oh, we're almost dead. Oh. <laughs> You're in a worse position, I'll say. I am. Couple your way as soon as possible. Here's one. Thank you. Here's one. Thank you. Ah! Here's one. Thank you. One for you. Oh, missed it. One for you. Thank you. Ah, I'm back again. Ah, Here. I'm too close to the end. So am I. Here. Oh. Oh. There. Thank you. Ah, Here. they get me from behind. <laughs> yeah. Here. Thank you. Thank you. Here. Here. Oh, oh. Oh, I just got hit twice. <laughs> <sighs> it's so it dangerous so on hard. the edge. It is. No, don't die. Don't die in this spot. Oh. Here. Oh. Coming. Here. Oh no. Oh, you made me go back. Ah, ah, here. Oh. Oh no. Here. 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 Oh, wow. Oh. That worked out really well, actually. Oh, not that. Ah, ah sorry. <laughs> here. Thank you. Oh, I need sorry. some bad. Here. Send a couple my way. No. Whoa. It's <laughs> stressful. Yep. Survival mode only now. I'm trying to not. Here. Thank you. Here. Thank you. Uh, Ow. Here. Thank you. Don't get that. Okay. Ah! Here. Ah! Here. Oh, I missed it. It's okay. There. 
Here. Oh. Here. Here. Oh. Here. Oh, oh no. Here. Oh, I can't. Going up by one doesn't necessarily get you to where you need to go. Do you know what I mean? There you go. Oh, uh, no. Oh, so we're still alive. Just barely. Just barely. I like this atomic disco. It is good. Really, really cool. Oh, my <gasps> God. Oh, now no. Now we die. Insta death. Here. Ah. That was... Yeah. Oh, you got it. Uh, no. Oh, my God. No. Yes. He was just asked. Ooh. Nostalgia just asked. <laughs> does it speed up anymore? Yeah. Yes. Yes, 20, it does. 20,000. 20, <laughs> I think there's actually one more level. Is there? Uh, 60,000. Oh, my goodness. I, so, I can't. I, I can't imagine living very long in that. I know. I know. Uh, it would take a lot of practice, I think. That's really, Ooh. really good. Yeah. There's a lot going on there. A really fun I game. I think the laser... Go. Gates should move slightly faster in the higher levels. I think oh, they the speed up as well? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think they do. I think it's seen the same, but yeah. I don't know. So we didn't get to up, a. I mean, this is old. This is 2015. You're not no, going to update this. Yeah, but still. Playing this with paddles would be a blast, actually. If it's yeah, possible. More fine tuning, yeah. Yeah, because you're able to go <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Like get to it more precisely. Yeah. There's a, there's a, there's a challenge for you, Jared. <laughs> to, to make this into a paddle game. Um, love it. Yeah. Really great for your first game. That's astounding. Uh, really, really fun and functional and interesting and yep. different too. Yeah. Yeah. What would I change? Nothing. Nothing really. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah. It's really The ramp up is, is quite drastic at 20,000. But no, but that's good because it, you, it takes a while to get to 20,000. So I think yeah. that's a good ramp up. So. Oh, yeah. Uh, but are, oh, Reading about Batari Basic. Yeah. Uh, Batari Basic can't do battle reads without removing some other features like second player missile. Oh, well, you'd have to do it in assembly then. Um, mm. And not Batari Basic. You'd have to do, do it in. Imagine four player mode with paddles. <gasps> mm -hmm. how, could you, you, how could you do that? You could just have four people playing two yellows and two blues. You could. Yes, yeah. that would solve it. So you don't have to have four uh, colors. Would it? It's the problem is the number of things on the screen. Yeah. The twenty six hundred just doesn't have enough mm. things. You could make your paddles play field. Play field moves up and down perfectly. Yeah. They wouldn't have the nice edges though. Mm. I bet there's a good way to do uh, four player, possibly with different colors, but I don't think you could do four different colors. It would just be too too difficult. But two people of the same that would get confusing though. If you're a two player, just leave it a two player. Because if you're both the same color on one side, mm -hmm. you're going to get confused who is who very quickly. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, awesome. Really awesome fun. Game. Really, really, really fun. Yeah. Really enjoyed that um, a lot. Right out of the gate yeah. with an amazing game. Also, definitely oh, check out his today. Quantum Tunnel game if you haven't. Yes. Uh, and also Spies in the Night 1 and 2. Those are uh, great games too. Yeah. Oh, so good. Yeah. yeah. Number 2 is like number 1. Number one's a mini game. Yeah. In number two. Yeah. It expands yeah. it so much. It's still pending coming out in cartridge at some point. So I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> um, so thanks with sti for sticking with us. Yeah. Uh, uh, all watching. the games today were really, really fun. Yeah. They all of them. A lot going for them. Yes. Um, so coming up on the show, we have. Let's see. Tomorrow we're doing another uh, classic gaming countdown. Are we? Okay. We're <laughs> I told you. Wednesday. Uh, we're finishing off 1982. There's Ooh. actually a, a bunch of really good games. At the at the last half. For the Christmas brush of oh, games. Oh, I bet. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for the last third of 1982, a lot of good games. Mm. Um, I still have to actually advertise that, but uh, let me quickly load up some of the games that we'll be playing tomorrow. One second. So I can give you a kind of a sneak preview. Takes so long. Okay, 1982 after that 
Uh, there is Turmoil, Dark Cavern, Dragon Stomper, um, Gorf, Wizard of War. Oh, wow. River Raid, Vanguard, Dragonfire. Um, oh, wow. And some other ones. Oh, Raiders good. of the Lost Ark as well. There's going to be a lot uh, of which good I have games to look to up how to play. Yeah. Because that one, you need the instruction. Yeah, you cannot there are definitely a few games. Way through it. E. T. And also E. T. as well. So um, I'm going to definitely look up the instructions for both those games yeah. made by the same person. So they're both like uh, adventure games. Interesting. Um, it is at yeah. It's a little bit later, unfortunately. It is at uh, we could make it seven. Well, I think seven or eight probably. Either would either would be fine. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. As long as there's time for us to have dinner when, when I get home, that's oh, all good. Yeah. Seven is fine then. Seven so is I fine. I might switch that to or seven. PM. Split the difference and make it seven thirty. Just so we can finish a little bit earlier. Yeah, because it's a lot of games to go through. It really takes as, like three hours. Not as much for the last. At the last one we played, we started at eight. We didn't finish till after midnight. Yeah. That and was that a was big... a long time. So seven would definitely be better because yeah. I do have to get up and go to work in the morning. So, so. I'll change that to seven. Seven is good. Yeah. Um. Then on the 19th, we'll be doing an Atari Lynx special. Uh, it That's is exciting. in the mail. Exciting. Let me just uh, check. It's coming from Australia, so it took. It will be. So at this will be is... at. Yes. Yes. Yeah. This time minus 45 minutes. Yeah, that's right. Sorry about time zone. Yeah. <laughs> if you actually click on those yeah. links, it will tell you when it is and your time zone. Oh, good. And I've actually just recently changed them to GMT, so oh. that it works on daylight and non-daylight. Got because I was. Gotcha. Used I used to have it on Pacific Time, which didn't work with Daylight Savings, mm. but now I have GMT. I can't remember who suggested that to me, but thank you very much. Yeah. Um, so that'll be really fun, playing a bunch of Atari Lynx games. Uh, then we have another show, and then we're going away for four shows. That's yeah. two weeks. About two weeks, yeah. So right now it is still... Oh, 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 where is it? Still in Australia, saying flight has departed. From Australia. Wow. For, okay. For the shipment. It's got a bit of a distance. So hopefully it goes to Canada from Australia, not to I the would, U.S. first. I would think oh, so. Oh, thank you, Vitoko. Vitoko suggested that. Yes. Um, I think normally they fly into Toronto. A lot of a lot of those flights just go to right. Toronto. So then it has to ship all the way across the country. But um, yeah, we do have a Jaguar game uh, day coming up. Uh, Jalaga. Jalaga. I'm very looking forward to. Not scheduled. Don't know when that's going to be ready. Elevator yeah. action from Champ Games. Agent, you mean? Elevator agent. What did I say? Action. Elevator action. Elevator, Elevator action. Elevator agent. Uh, and Champ Games Secret Homebrew at some point. Load Runner 2600 mm -hmm. as well. That'll be before uh, Portland Retro Gaming Expo because nice. it's going to be on be for sale there. Nice. Uh, an Uno Plus card special. I do need to catch up with the people to organize that. Mm -hmm. uh, old style with his Mario Brothers. Final version of that. Nice. Some other games. Todd Fermansky. Um, developer Spotlight. Chris Walton Developer Spotlight. That'll be fun. We'll be at Portland Retro Gaming Expo in Yay! October in two months. Two months? It's already August. August. September, October. Yeah, that's true. And we'll be doing an Atari Age Day 2022 Fall Edition in November. Nice. Probably Christmas. spread over two days. Nice. We're also going to be playing all the ABBUC 2022 contest entries, which just closed the contest two days ago. Okay. Yep, two days ago. Uh, and a whole bunch of other things. Nice. And then in 2026, we'll be doing the Atari 7800's 40th Anniversary Classic Game Encounter. Nice. In four years. <laughs> so, oh, in four years, 2026. 2026. Funny. It's a little off. You're very funny. So we'll, yeah. so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you have it in the schedule, though. It's good to know. Yeah. You know, I come up with an idea. Just put it in the schedule. <laughs> Just so I don't forget. Yep. Okay, right. so we're done. Thank you for tuning in, Vitoko, Dan ABC, <laughs> uh, Huge Ass 79, Nostalgic, uh, Jared, Jared Gray, Gray West. West. Thank you. Thank you for making that game in really 2015. Fun game. Very, Keep very making fun. games. Yep. Uh, Commodore Chronicles. Nice. Thanks for joining yes. us. Yes. Stuck, stuck to the end. Yeah, yeah. yeah you thank obviously you. enjoyed it. Yep. Uh, make sure you follow if you did enjoy it. Oh, you did. Awesome. Two hours ago at the beginning. <laughs> 
Um, oh. Chelsea Donnie Mao. Uh, yeah, Rod Castler in there too. Uh, Mike Soul, Azure 6502. Uh, Dieter, thank you for making the, your game. Yes. Uh, the conversion of Homestar Runner. Yes, yes, yes. Very fun. That is fun, yeah. Um, who else? Uh, Metal Lunar, if you didn't already say, and Mike Soul. Carl G. Old Spookish mag Magnet Magus. <laughs> Old Spookish. Old Spookish Magus. Magus. That's a mouthful. Who I That's think hard. did j jump in with um, uh, 48k Ram or uh, his group. Oh yeah, yeah. Wrong. That's when he came in. Yep. And thank you, 48k Analog, Ram. 1975 Coffee Cup Arcade. Thank you for watching. Um, yeah. Miss uh, Command. Alna Fur. Uh, yeah, Miss Command off the top, um, and uh, we didn't take a look at the poll. No, oh, yeah, it did it. fall, it did finish. So if I can zoom in on that, I'm just gonna read it out. So 33% leave their cartridges as a mess on the shelf, just out of order. Uh, second place with 26% alphabetical order. Okay, yeah, Makes sense. I get that, I get that, yeah. Uh, and a three-way tie. Uh, they organize it by color, I like by color. company. I like color, aesthetics. And then by favorite to least favorite. Um, that makes sense. You put, if you play a game, put it at the beginning. Well, if you play a game, put it at the beginning. So if you keep doing that, the good ones will stay at the beginning. I feel like general. you want accessible the things you're going to reach for the most. So that makes sense. Yes. It may be at the beginning or it may be where it's within reach of where, whatever you're doing as well. So yeah, accessible. It's a, the accessibility of it. So mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Uh, good stuff all around. Yeah. Eesh. <laughs> yeah thank you for joining us rendered ghost too jumping in at the end yep um yeah so we'll be back tomorrow night 7 p.m pacific time yes playing some old big stack of old school oh that's gonna be good rounding I'm off 1982 Eight, 1982 yep karatika stays at the bottom of my 7800 pile yeah it's slow it's methodical it's more of a puzzle game <laughs> than anything else I enjoyed it on the Commodore 64 back in the day. Yeah. I believe I finished the game. Oh, yeah. Because it, it's not a very long game. Mm, um, I don't know that game, so... You just kick people and punch keep people and punch eagles and go through gates and... Punch eagles. It's, it's very... It's Prince of Persia, it the but on pun one level. It's Prince of Persia on one level. <laughs> okay, okay. That's a, the best description, really. Yeah. And instead of a sword, you have punches and kicks. <laughs> but the graphics are astounding in it. Astounding and great music. Uh, so we're done. Uh, thank you for watching. It is going to be awesome tomorrow. I yeah. remember 82. Yes, yeah. me too. So we'll see you tomorrow or next yes. time you join us. Bye, everyone. Bye.